subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man. Yeah, man. Talk about uh, let's just go back though, man, to them Cloverland, man. We was talking off air. You know what I'm saying? You saying how you was riding with that stick, man? That yeah, yeah, stick yeah, one, yeah. Man. Oh yeah, for shit show, man. And I'm talking about that was them 12, 13 year old days, man. Fucking with the OG old stick one. <laughs> I'm talking about in the Delta, tinted up, nigga. We, man. I'm talking about we riding around. Bro got the punch bowl in that hoe. We <laughs> sipping all at the punch bowl, my nigga. Like a big old <laughs> like ass. Like a party punch bowl when you like go to the party big and they got a yeah. ass bowl, bro. Like, that's how hard a nigga used to go on there drink. Like, nigga been sipping so long, bro. This like early 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fad that's going on now with everybody. Like, nigga, nigga been that doing that That was lifestyle for y'all, though. Yeah. 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 You know, our first album was titled Smoking, Smoking and Leaning. Leaning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and then we dropped that. That shit was dropped in 95. Yeah. I mean, that ain't even, you know, you got to think. The screw era for us. Yeah, y'all predate that. that. Yeah, y'all predate you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, so we were doing all the screw tapes and shit prior to the album. You feel what I'm saying? So we, that shit just like, you know, that's the culture. Like, down here, that shit just, no, like, Bro, we done sip so much drinking, oh, niggas trying to shake this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas like, bro, we need to get off this shit. You know and what I'm saying? And see, I wanted to talk to you about that, though, because it's like, like you said, it was, it was real. It was lifestyle. That's what was going on. But, like, you get older and it's like, it's another side to that. You don't right, even realize right. you're putting so much in your body. You right. know what I'm saying? The way it's like, man, I, I didn't develop a damn near addiction to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm talking about, yeah, I mean, just because you got to, like, you know, water flush your system out when you drink and drink, you keep drinking water. Ain't nobody gonna really be drinking water like they supposed to. You know what I'm saying? So at some point, you know that shit, you know what I'm saying, it become a health hazard. I don't I'm not necessarily saying you can actually die from it, but I'm just saying like, you know It's gonna tell your kidneys. Your kidneys, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You dehydrate it, like anything you abuse ain't no you know, it ain't no good anyway. So it's just kinda like, you know, man, you know, as a nigga get older. Me personally, I'm just big on staying in shape, you know what I'm saying? Eating right, all that shit at this point. Did like, you do it? Did you do a like complete lifestyle change? Man, I'm talking about bro, I ain't ate no, I ain't ate no beef or pork, you know what I'm saying, since I was in the feds in two thousand and I got there, I got there in 09. By two thousand ten I wasn't eating no more beef, no more pork. Period. I ain't ate no beef or pork since then. So. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Because what was your decision? To, to make that in jail you know what i'm saying i think i was able to educate myself on it more like when i got to jail you know what i'm saying you know prior to well, i'm gonna say not when i got to jail because i hadn't done a bid but prior to that but i'm just saying like when i got to the feds right it was just like uh i was able to educate myself more about what i'm eating you know what i'm saying how does it affect you you know what i'm saying in the whole nine so she you know once you once you educate yourself about something and you just see the the way it's harming your body and affecting your body, it's kind of insane not to switch up. You know that's I, how I feel bro, anyway. I ain't, that, that's saying? one thing I've been trying to do. Bro. Living that healthy lifestyle, fool. That shit is hard, man. Like, I love them burgers. I love you know what I'm saying that pepperoni yeah. pizza, man. Like you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. For shit show. I mean, it's just all about discipline. It ain't definitely. It's definitely not easy. You just have to discipline yourself. So. I guess by me being behind the wall, educate. I, I feel like by me educating myself while I was behind the wall, that made it more, made me stay more consistent with it. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I done gained the knowledge. Now I can really apply that shit to my everyday life. I'm, I'm, I'm behind the wall. I'm sitting still. So fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I might as well just, you know, make sure I stick to the script. Hmm. Shit. I was still eating chicken, though. So I was still <laughs> eating chicken by, down there. So... When I got out, when I got out in uh in sixteen, where well, I got out the halfway house, kicked off sixteen. She, I say, about for a few months, I was still fucking with the chicken. I say, by the time seventeen, seventeen hit mid seventeen, shit, I was through with the chicken. How how did you start weaning yourself off of that? Man, I just it was just all mental for me. Like it's crazy though, bro. Cause like even like with smoking and drinking, like I don't smoke, I don't drink. Period. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't drink liquor, nothing. Nothing. So it'd just be like, if I, I do it like last time I was here, I was sipping some punch then. It'll be like if I just want to get in that vibe at a certain moment. But so crazy, bro, I can cut that shit off like that. You the master. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I cut that shit off like that on my birthday. I smoked one time on my birthday. Shit, right after that, I quit. I ain't doing mm. no smoking. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just like, 
I really admire that shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like, you know, I'll let, I feel like discipline plays a, a strong part in that shit. Like, you got to have a strong mindset and, you know, just really have it. You got to tell yourself, like, shit, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm through with that. Like, and, and along with that comes the discipline. You dig what I'm saying? I just feel like, with anything, you got to be serious about it within. No matter how much help you get, I don't give a damn how much you go to a rehab, anything. Hmm. You got to be tired of it. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be on some, man, yeah, I'm through with that. I ain't fucking with it. You know when, you, when you got to jail, did you get into it like, man, I don't want to smoke. I don't want to, like, no drugs, no, you know what I'm saying? See, I wasn't even on that on the jail. Like, I wasn't even really tripping on, like, it just, as time went, I went by, I ain't smoking. So, it's kind of like, when I got back to the crib, I hadn't been smoking. So for so long. many years, yeah, it was like you got a whole like new I lifestyle. Had an urge for the shit. It's like when I did smoke, it was like I just smoked because I hadn't smoked in so long. I was just like, man, let me see what this shit like. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just on some shit like that. Like, bro, I ain't smoked in so long. Let me just, it's a nigga birthday. I'm just smoke, pull up, woo, fuck around. You know what I'm saying? About a week or two. And then I stopped right back. I ain't fuck with it no more. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like liquor. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't drunk no liquor. In about two and a half, three years. Hmm. Then on my birthday just passed, shit, I drunk on my birthday. Stopped. I ain't fucking with it no more. Like, that's just how I be. I don't know. I guess that's a, just a blessing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, I mean, but shit, you had a good run out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you started at 19 years old. You know <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's another thing, bro. Like, I, be, I look at it like, man, bro, I done told my body down so many years, bro, since a young nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like you said, fucking with niggas like stick. We sip a drink out of punch bowl and you know what I'm saying? We'll lean up, man. This nigga gonna tear a nigga down on that drink. He's gonna drink. Okay, talk about how Will Lean will be coming at you with that all, man. man. Cause everybody know if you know Will you know what I'm saying, you know. Man, you know. Will Lean gonna drink a nigga ass up under the table, bro. That, man, why you think that but like we literally gave that boy that name for a reason. Like that nigga, man, say bro. Since y'all was young. Man, he was nigga, he was bro, gonna be the one gonna be heavy on the drink all the man, time. Listen, bro, that nigga be the Bro, we been a drunk by the pain of this nigga still wide awoke. Like he, bro, oh, that shit. nigga gonna drink, 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 and be up. Know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, God damn, bitch. <laughs> that nigga will leave the motherfucker, bro. That nigga gonna drink that all. She, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like as a young nigga, just coming up under that. And, and four days left, they're going to smoke a nigga ass up under the table. He going to fire them hoes up. Back to back, yeah. back to back to back to back, back. Like, bro, you got to think a nigga just coming up around it, 12, 13. Not to mention the screw high days. We end up going hard with screw. You got mowing. Bro, nigga stayed going hard. So it's just like, man, I'm like, man, I done told my body down for so many years, bro. It's just time. This part of my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, from here on out, this we go we go we go keep this segment <laughs> right, bro. They gotta take care of shit. Gotta make up for them last years, man. Yeah, for shit show, bro. That's man. how I be looking at this shit. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.